Hello friends, Jenkins here, and this is DHL Pro Tips. In Dota 2, there are two types of gold, unreliable gold and reliable gold. Reliable gold comes exclusively from the 100 or so gold per minute that you receive throughout the game, as well as the gold from bounty runes that are picked up by your team. Unreliable gold comes from everything else, including kills, objectives, and creeps. If you buy items, it comes from unreliable gold first and reliable gold second. This is important because if you die, you can only lose unreliable gold. Meaning, if you have zero unreliable gold when you die, but a ton of reliable gold, you lose virtually nothing in terms of net worth when you die. Where this is exceptionally important is when it comes to buybacks in the mid to late game. Buying back is when you pay a certain amount of gold based on your net worth to instantly respawn if you've died in the game. Buying back is so important that it is often considered one of the biggest reasons that OG was able to win TI8, because they were the team that abused buybacks the best. What they often did was throwing some hero who had enough gold for buyback into the enemies, baiting a great fight, then buying back on that hero and essentially fighting 6 versus 5. But buyback doesn't come without risk. Not only is it incredibly expensive, but it has an 8 minute cooldown, and it increases your next death timer by 25 seconds. For this reason, buying back and then immediately dying is considered to be the single most game losing mistake in the entire game. And on top of this, buyback takes from reliable gold first. So, if you buy back for the next 5 to 10 minutes, if you die, you will lose a ton of gold, because you'll have a ton of unreliable gold and very little reliable gold. This can be abused, however, by intentionally poking at the enemy high ground to bait an enemy hero to buy back in an attempt to defend their base, then immediately back off and allow them to suffer the monumental consequences. 